Hey, brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm just tidying up these assemblers because I've been doing a tiny little bit off camera, and this was the bit that I forgot to do. Give me a second, and we'll have this all done. And there we go. Very nice. So, right, from here, we've got to start thinking about the logistics on everything. Uh, if I head back up here to the top floor, over this side I started sorting out all of the Katerium stuff when my smelters want to load in. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. So I've got a Mark II miner over there that needs to be overclocked. Uh, I started sorting out some belt stuff, but I didn't. I don't have all of the materials for the, right, the correct belts that I need at the moment. I kind of like the, uh, the whole kind of slightly offset build on this. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, I do need to get rid of some of this floor so that I can sort it out all of the inputs to some of these machines. Alright, that lot's all sorted, that lot's all sorted. I think we're good for the most part. Uh, I walled off this little bit because I've got a big fiery boy over on this plateau. There he is, slinking around like a miserable sod. And... <laughs> I thought it best to just wall him off so that he doesn't cause any problems while I'm trying to sort all of this stuff out. But what we've got to do now uh, is start plugging things in. So I want to have a look at my big spreadsheet and see what needs to go where. So, hmm. Let's start off with this lot. I need 300 copper ingots out of this, which I am getting. Oh, I still need to deal with you. Okay, let me move this pole down here. No, I don't need that. I need power lines. Where does that connect to? Oh, it connects to there. Okay. And, oh. Uh, <laughs> I can pull the power lines through the floor, though, so that kind of works for the time being. You connect to that, and then I can go and delete the one that's in the way. Doesn't sound like the power's died, so that's good. Let me just double check. Yeah, everything's fine. Cool. That's a start. I suppose I didn't need to go up this high. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, right. I do need to grab materials for sorting out belts. So, I'll chuck all the concrete in there. I don't need it right now. What I need is all of this stuff. Those. I do need a little bit of concrete, actually, because I'm going to need to make uh, the poles and stackers and stuff. Okay. Quick legs on. And... Right, so this is going into copper sheet, which is all the way up on the top floor at the moment. So I might put the output over this way. So I need mergers. We're going to go in this direction. So today's going to be a lot of faffing about with belts and logistics. Hopefully I'll get all this sorted nice and quick. Whether or not we're going to have things 100% operational by the time this video ends is another matter, but I will try. It's more a question, I suppose, of whether I've got enough resources to be able to get all this done. Because that's always the big question. You know, am I prepared for everything? <laughs> okay, how was I setting things up here? Because... My copper sheet. Yeah, right, okay. What I'm going to do with this, because three of these machines require 60 a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a belt down the center of all of this under on the floor below. Uh, no, I need that. Thank you. And as I split things off, because they're in blocks of three, I can just run... A single Mark 1 belt, and then split that three ways, and these will all get fed 
pretty perfectly, really. So that should work out fine. Let's see where that's going to happen. So I need a splitter. Do I want it there? I don't want it facing that way that much, it's for sure. Okay, you plug in like that. And then you go like that. Yes. So these will all get fed in perfect ratios, so that I'm very happy with. Let's... I'll quickly just get the rest of this done, because then we can look at where... Uh, no, I need to put that there, don't I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can look at where the belt is going to come up from the bottom floor. And this one, on its own over this way. And that will do. Got Mark IV belt running through this. And, right. Let me hop out with the jetpack for a moment. Hmm. If I put... Not in that spot. If I put you there. Uh, where do I want this to go? Something like that. You bugger off! Stop spitting on my walls, you sod! He's he's rude. He is. Don't approve of him. So if we plug you like that. You can come in like that. Now, what's it going to be like if I ooh, go about avoiding you? Thank you. Right, okay. What I could do here... If I connect you like that... And then... A wall conveyor there... I can connect in like that... And then we can just drag this over here. And there we go! One production line, mostly sorted. I've still got all of the uh, inputs on all of this to deal with. But it's a stop. Where the fuck did you come from? Yeah, go on, you fuck off. <laughs> okay. Um, mm, that's fun. Don't like that. I might space these out a little bit as well, just so I can get belts in behind all of this. So, let me move them back a couple of spaces, and I can move the iron over as well. Right, there we go, that gets that bit sorted. So I've got space to move belts around to get into all of these machines now. Um, so that's going to need 300 copper a minute. <clears throat> Trying to figure out what bit I want to do next. Like, do I want to go searching for that 300 copper? Or do I want to just, like... Hmm. Let me set all the recipes on this. I'll sort out the inputs, and then... This can be, like, one production line. Pretty much sorted. Although that needs to then feed into the assemblers making circuit boards, and then into the manufacturers making computers. So... We'll, we'll stick with this kind of production line for the moment. We'll get this bit sorted. Work on one bit at a time, and it can slowly come together, and then... A nice little bit of success, I think. Uh, if I were to put... Splitters in like this... Would you feed like that nicely? No, that needs to come forward. I'm also running low on iron plates, so... That's the thing. Right, that 
work like that. Good. There we go. And now I need to go and grab some iron plate. She's just unsurprising at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I think my being unprepared for every build that I ever do. I think that's just it's just part of the charm of this series now. I just want to keep telling myself anyway. I want to try something a little different with how I'm going to feed this. Because I've got an idea of how I could do this and keep things nice and balanced. So... If I bring this around this way, and that around like that, I can have another splitter in here. Mark one belt in there. Mark two lift coming up like this, and then like this. So I'd feed in 300, I'd split off 120 that way, 120 up through that, and then 60 through there that would split down into 30. That would get this whole system perfectly balanced. It's not the most elegant of setups, but I think I like it. And then I just need a splitter here. there, and then over into this, but I need to keep the belts nice and straight. And that works pretty damn well, I think. Uh, no, there needs to be a Mark II coming from here. Like so. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. What a good way to set things up. Well done, me. <laughs> Right, that's that bit done, aside from power, but I can worry about that later. So, let's go catch up with the copper sheet. Oop. Get the belt output sorted for that and feed them into where they need to go. Because we're going to be producing 150, so I can support that with a Mark III belt. I'll put it all on a Mark IV, just to be, you know... Uh, rather speedy with the outputs on things. And to try and keep things neat and tidy, I'm going to do something like this. You feed like that. You feed like that. Because these are producing 10 per minute. And this can come out this way. I believe I've got a belt in there. Yeah, I do. Good. This can come out over here, and we can send it down in another, in another lift. In which case, I will put a wall in instead. Cure. Right. Um, although... Hmm. Because the copper sheets need to go into these assemblers. What am I going to do about that? All right. I thought if I can place some foundation in a decent spot. There we go. Right. Eh. Tell you what, I'll sort out the outputs for these first. Once I've got the outputs for these sorted, I can work my the rest of my logistics around them. Okay, recipes are all set on those. They're each going to be outputting 7.5, so... Mark 1 belts out. I think a Mark 2 belt running through will be more than enough. But these require 300 plastic. So I can do the similar, a similar setup to what I did with the smelters to split that out perfectly. And I really like that idea, so I'm going to do that. The awkward thing, though, is that these have got two inputs, so I can't make it quite as clean as I did with the last with the uh, smelters. Uh, okay.
what I could do instead, if I take my splitter, I think it wants to go there. Yep. I'll do something like this, and then I can work the copper sheet around that. Hmm, okay. I'll be figuring out how I want the uh, copper sheet to split as well. Because obviously it's got half the output of this setup, but I don't know. It might work just the same. Possibly not. Because I'd be feeding 150 in, that would split three ways, meaning 50 would go out of each output. So it wouldn't be completely even until some machines started backing up. Uh, I don't know. I can I can play around with it and figure something out. Let's just get one production input sorted first. Right, that's plastic sorted for these. Now, what I might do... Hmm. How could I get this to be a nice, effective sort of setup? Or efficient, I suppose. I think what I'll do first... I'll put a splitter in about here. And then, this can be where... Will that work? I think I can make that work. Yeah, I can bring the um, stuff down the edge from here. You mind your own business over there, right? I said, mind your own fucking business! Hmm. I need more walls. A fucking cheeky bastard, that one, isn't he? But, yeah. Um, Mark 1 lift can come down on either side of this splitter. And then I might just feed this in in, like, sort of bus-style system. It might just be easier to do it that way. Saves me faffing about too much. Why did you go there? Didn't mean to put you there. Overdoing it with these belts a bit. I only need to be marked two. So, that'll do it. Uh, let's repeat that on this side. And then I've got the input into the manufacturers making computers to sort out. And then this bit's done. Pretty much. Alright. That's that bit done. It's not looking too bad. Now I just need to feed the output for the copper sheets into this. So I'd be bringing it out to about here. So let's get a Mark IV lift coming down. And a belt over to here. the lift going down. Come on, get in the right fucking spot. I think that should do it. Probably want some stack stackers to keep things tidy. Yep, that works fine. Cool. Fuck off! Go away. Bloody hell. This guy's insufferable. <laughs> I'm just trying to work over here, so... Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Ow! Oh! Right in the fucking chops. What a dickhead. Okay, computers. Let's get the recipes set on this. And I'll 
feed that in just on a single line, and then... Hmm. Okay, splitter in here. Now build splitters going up four or five high. Because then I can just feed belts as and where I need to. Now, kind of awkward that I'm having to feed the belts through the rock. But, whatever. It gets it done. I'm not happy with how it looks, but it's in. So that's one, one line of production essentially covered. The only thing I've got to do is bring over plastic for this system, plug the plastic into that system for the computers, and then I've got to sort out the screws. So, really, we haven't got too much. That's not bad. We're off to a good start. Speaking of plastic, I've no idea where the bloody hell I'm going to feed that in from. Because I need... 300 for this, for the uh, circuit boards themselves. Then I need 135 for the computers. That's going to be a fun one to try and balance. I could use a Mark II and then split a Mark I belt four ways, essentially. I need a quarter, like, I need a Mark II belt and then a quarter of a Mark I. That makes sense. Oh, this is going to be some fiddly shit, man. Too warm for fucking fiddly shit. So what do you need? You need 45 plastic a minute. So a single Mark I lift ought to do the trick. And I just realised I shouldn't be putting the stackers like all the splitters like that. Let me get rid of these belts for a minute. Okay, that works for this side. I'm going to have to do all of this going a different way for the ones that are coming in this side. But that's fine. Is that going to go in straight, though? Yep, that works fine. Right. Logistics into all of this is fine. Everything's done. Ugh. I think my brain's going to melt by the time I finish with this. This is all just to get two manufacturers making supercomputers as well. I don't know how you people who do, like, the massive mega factory builds get by. This is just... Oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> I mean, fair play to you for doing it, but... Oh, god damn. My brain's already dribbling out my ears. Uh, what do I need next? Good question. A new lease on life, that'll do it. Uh, let me sort out plastic inputs, then. Because... Uh, I'm only just going to be able to provide enough for this system. That's just for making the computers. I still need to worry about plastic for... Oh, I need to have a look at this. I still need plastic for the high-speed connectors and for the supercomputers themselves. What I think I'll try and do is I'll balance each sort of input as best I can. Like, this can pretty much just be force-fed an input, because it's going to automatically split everything as much as it needs, so it can't be overfed. The one going into the computers themselves is going to need to be fiddled around with a bit. Um, so I'll build that out here. This is going to be where things start to get tricky, I think. But how do I handle it? So, a Mark IV belt can just come down here. Where would the... where would I want the plastic line to come in from? I suppose should be my big question. 
I really need to get rid of all of this floor because it's just in the way. It's not serving any purpose anymore. Other than the stairs, like they can they can stay. Because I'm covering up a lot of ground with all of this. And I could do with being able to figure out where I want my belts going. Alright, I do have you to worry about. Hmm. What I could do would be a similar thing to the kind of excess plastic pipeline belt thing that I have over at the oil production. I could undersling the belts to get them in and around all of this. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, yeah, if I take that away and if I were to put these down here just get a bit of wall in convey a wall mount convey a lift yeah yeah this could be the way to go so that would feed into there would I be able to do any sort of splitting along along all of this I think I probably can yeah because the splitters can clip the foundations but not the other way round so I'd have to work all of this out while all of the walls and floors and everything are all installed but this could be an option okay let's go and deal with the big angry fiery boy that we've got down this way I need my ammo you know, I've only got ten rounds. I don't have any Nobelisks on me. <laughs> Go into battle prepared, you absolute idiot. Where's he gone? Oh, there you are. Just decided he didn't want to bloody exist. Keep my distance. Oop. You're dead. Good. Where are... Where, oh, there, Rams, your organs. Thank you. Hmm. Right, so I want to undersling the belts going along there, I think. Okay, spacing this belt stuff, trying to do things this way, is kind of awkward. It's hard to gauge how long the distance is going to be. I mean, I know I could count foundation spaces and stuff, that would make things a bit easier, but... Uh, I don't know. As if I'm ever going to make things easy for myself, I suppose. Now it's a case of what do I do with these belts from here. Oh, fucking... Uh, stop dragging me away. I build this out into this space. Mm. Don't know. Because these belts will clip through all of this as I try to drag it through. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I can just deal with it. Oh, oh. Come on. There we go. And then I can just get a. Mark IV lift, which will eventually upgrade to a Mark V, and that can be the feed-in for the plastic, and then the other productions that need it. I will do my best to split off this line and balance the belts as much as I can. Going into the computers should be fine. I know how I need to split that, and then I think... What else was left? What needs more plastic? Uh, I need 45. Okay, so whatever's left, the... Okay, yeah, this is actually going to be easier than I expected. I think. Yeah, because I'll take the 135 that I need from... Uh, for the computers. Once I've done the weird split to get the extra 15, what's left off that of that Mark 1 belt would be 45. That can go to the assemblers making circuit boards for the high-speed connectors. 
and then all the plastic that's left over after it's been barged into the um, larger circuit board production, that can just be sent off to the supercomputers. So it should be 105 left over, provided I've got this right. Although I think we are still overproducing a bit on plastic anyway, so I don't know. This is going to be interesting to carry on. That being said, you know, it's, it's certainly taking a while to get it all sorted. But I think some good progress has been made. Yeah, I, I think it was a bit optimistic trying to think that I was going to get things finished today. Uh, but it's coming along. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue focusing on uh, kind of one line of production at a time. Uh, I think we'll we'll look at trying to sort out all of the plastic inputs first so that we can do all of the kind of weird belt balancing and then all that other kind of stuff. And then from there, the, you know, the belts can just sit underneath all of this and we don't really have to look at them again until it comes down to upgrading the belts to a Mark V so that we can actually get the throughput that we need. But otherwise, I think things are going rather nicely. I'm looking, liking some of these new kind of logistical setups. I'm really quite pleased with this one. I, I genuinely figured it out today, so... No, I'm quite happy with that. It's not bad. Could maybe use some refinement, I don't know. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. But that being said, I'm going to wrap this episode up here, so I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays and Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment, just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chat me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Is this going? Oh, hi, how are you? You're having nice times, all of you, everybody that's here.